Hi, I am Dr. Rona Thao. Today I'm going to give you three or so reasons why you get cravings, food cravings, possibly even beverage cravings, and a few ways that you can practice to cut those cravings and get them out of your life. So, why do we get cravings? You may find that you crave something crunchy, salty, candy, sugar. Um, I'm going to conveniently leave out caffeine because, but that can be a trigger too. Uh, or a packaged food um, that you eat, frozen dinner maybe. Maybe McDonald's or Burger King or a fast food. So why does this happen? So a craving can be set up like an unhealthy craving. You might crave something like um, a food that, that's great, but things that you crave that don't satisfy your need and then you're still hungry. I know I've had this happen and I'm sure that you've had this happen. You're like, oh my God, I really wanna have a insert, whatever that is, right? And it happens a lot and then you have it and then you feel like ravenous and you want more. So that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. So why does this happen? One reason it can happen is that you actually have a food sensitivity to that thing. I'll give you an example. It could be sugar, corn, wheat, gluten, stuff like that, um, or other, lot, plenty of other things, right? So, well, how do you know? Well. A food sensitivity is different than an allergy, like if a person has a shellfish allergy and they, or you have any kind of an allergy and you consume the food and your throat closes and you may go into shock and need an EpiPen. I'm not talking about that kind of an allergy that really is a punch in the, you know, punch in the head. I'm talking about a sensitivity. And so they're not as dramatic but they can create really nasty and dramatic changes negative changes in the body so a few things I know I'm sensitive to um, what can happen is that I already said you crave the, the thing if you have I've been recently snacking on these little delicious Ocho chocolates they are mini right they're harmless but one, having one and being satisfied and then continually having one or two or six and then I find myself craving them and I can't stop. I don't sit and eat 47, although at other points in my life I would have sat down and finished as many as I had and you may find that too. Um, I was a bulimic for a long time, many, many years ago. So I get that. And so sugar is a, is a big deal. Another thing for myself and for many people that can be a problem is gluten or corn. For me, I'm very sensitive to corn. And in addition to kind of craving more and feeling disgusting and getting a stomach ache, but craving more, whether that's um, corn type chips or even cassava seems to set me off or popcorn, delicious, love it, want more, want more, can't stop. And sometimes I'm, I'm probably gonna indulge in it, but I have to be very aware. And if you're not aware of this stuff, you just kind of wonder why, or you keep gorging, which isn't gonna be very helpful for you. Um, those are two really big things. So why does this happen? One reason it happens in your body is is because sugars, even starches, get um, attached. Well, a couple different reasons. Biggest reason, blood sugar spike, one reason. And then crash, need more sugar. Blood sugar, eat sugar, yay, delicious, great, feel good. Boom, your energy just drops. So. That has to do with blood sugar regulation and that has to do with more kind of straight sugar or if you're if you're digging in on a lot of carbohydrates and another reason is that you're you're not you may be missing pieces to accurately digest feed or repair a part of your body and and this can create a craving or you're not just you know you're not you're not feeding your body the right nutrients 
So cravings, a good way that you can notice if you have these cravings set up is to keep a food journal. I've kept a food journal for a many many years there are some great online free resources you can keep it in a journal you know in a in a in a notebook or i love it to do it on my phone um, and have an app i use one called lose it there's my fitness pal and all that sorts of stuff but cravings can be allergies sensitivities in disguise they happen for a number of reasons um, and if you are experiencing cravings and you're not sure what to do, it's not a one size fits all kind of deal. I work with people just like you. I spend my life helping people correct their health. If you'd like to reach me or work with me, get some more information, please reach out to me. My contact details are below. I'm offering at this point in time a free 15 minute consultation to give you some information and see if we're a good fit together. I'd love to help you. I look forward to speaking with you. Have a great day. Watch out for those cravings. This is Dr. Rona Thau. That's all for now. We'll see you next time.